My name is Brendan Daly and I'm 17 years old and I currently attend Brophy College Preparatory which is a prestigious high school in Central Phoenix and it's private. By that I mean yes, I did not grow up in the hood so therefore I don't really know the hood but when I met JC he sort of brought the hood to me. Cartel got me working for the big faces Federally got my car full of brick cases Hit the pin with a grin, there ain't no faking Eyes picked to my back for my shoelaces Got out, shoulda seen the look on they faces All jealous cause your boy stacking hella paper Set up by the crew, they done put a banger In the trunk of my car and left me to hang there No thing, then attorney went and beat the case Got a job digging holes for minimum wage Had a dream that Cato said he proud of me Stay here, don't leave, keep doing your thing Quit the drugs, but you know I went back to selling Six times failing, I went back to prison Got my head right, got my bread right Push these weights like a kilo in a tailpipe Trying to do right, I got a mission Trying to give back to my boys in the prison The old me's gone What's up guys, my name is JC, I am Wrong Strong. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss nothing. If you're part of my team, mi familia, mi raza, you already know what time it is. Sua tell us Because we're about to take a ride. What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Wrong Strong. Yes, that's my son-in-law. <laughs> He got to see the old JC, the new JC, the transformation. You know, I, I've been blessed to be able to mentor him, teach him about, not only about life, but, you know, strength training, diet, just everything. It's important that we don't leave no kids behind. It doesn't matter whether they grow up in bad areas, good areas, you know, depression, drugs, all that stuff finds its way to, to every area you could possibly think of, whether you're rich, poor, black, white, it does not matter, it does not discriminate, and it destroys. Why, how do you think a lot of these kids end up in bad areas? They, they're searching for drugs. I, I've seen a lot of kids lose their life and be destroyed. So why wait? Why wait until you get that call? Why wait? At first, he scared me a couple of times and his temper was very short. Me dating his stepdaughter didn't exactly help the cause. After these three years, I've seen him change and transform so much. And from that perspective, it was very interesting because I got to see both the old and the new JC. And I'd like to say that I definitely like the new one better because he's less scary and he's more understanding. But when we got to talking, I found out that there was so much wisdom in what he had to say because of the circumstances and the hardships that he found himself growing up in. Even though we're from different times and places and neighborhoods and wealth, uh, it made me realize that it was never too late for someone to change regardless of their background. And it is never too late to dream. So don't wait until your kids are in trouble or until there's, they start doing drugs or they start becoming depressed to make the change. Because drugs and everything does not discriminate from wealth, from neighborhoods, from anything. So my, my advice is yes to the families in the nice areas. Even if you don't think you're at risk, you are and he can help to get your kids to think about proceeding into furthering their life. I'm leaving to attend college soon, and I must say that I'm very grateful. I did not have to grow up like him, but most importantly, I would say that he helped me dream again, and he gave me that desire and push to go forward. My name is Brendan Daly, and yes, I'm wrong to show. My biggest thing is to share my life experiences, my knowledge, everything that I've been through, and my change that it's never too late. It's never too late and never too early to learn, change, dream, and just be the best version of yourself. Remember, our kids are our future. 
we have to start doing something about it and take it a little bit more serious. And sometimes, yes, you need to hire the big guy with all the tattoos that went to prison and went through all that stuff. Your kids might need that, friend. All in your name, all in your glory. Thank you, Jesus, for what you've done for me.